When we get ready to embark upon a major task or a program, there are certain questions we need to ask. Who is available? Who is necessary? Who is in the wrong place? And when we examine those questions and we realize we do not have enough people proportionate to the task, we must pause and either recruit more people or we need to adjust the task to an intermediate phase of accomplishment. If we don't do that, we may fail, not for capability, but because of the lack of planning. And this is where toy soldiers begin to teach us about strategy and setup, and we find out that the success of any program and any venture is in the setup. And toy soldiers teaches us that. Give a group of kids toy soldiers. Let them dump them out, and you'll see certain things occur. One is, the first thing they do is separate them out by types. They put the bazooka guys over here, the riflemen over there, the little crawly men, and the minesweepers. If you keep the minesweepers, you put them over here where there's going to be vehicles traveling. Each troop has a certain place they need to be. So you look at the type, and then you look at the time that is necessary for that setup. And we begin to examine the whole battle. But as leaders, we cannot do it from an ivory tower. We still have to get down where they are. We look at their perspective. And when we see things through their eyes, we see their obstacles. As an infantry officer, I felt it important to get in the vehicles with my troops and ride and see. Get in the foxhole with them. Look at what they see. And then you get the big picture. You step back and look at all the people working together. As leaders, we must examine the setup from every different angle.